what the F actually is ascension. Have you heard the word? Have you ever asked yourself that question? I have many times, and it has truly been a path of discovery and peeling back the layers of complex understanding over the last few years. But here, today, for you, I'm gonna share the good stuff, the scoopity dupe, the DL. Oh yeah, hear it here first, and you're welcome. Let's go to the light, my friends. I may be telling you something that you already know. We are souls in a body, spiritual beings having a human experience. Being human is a hella dense 3D experience, but the circumstance of density actually gives us an opportunity to really fast track our soul growth because there's ample opportunity when we have so much to work with, physically and otherwise. When we're dropped down into our bodies as little babies, it most def takes a minute to adjust from the high frequency energy of being in spirit form. Those of you that have kids have probably experienced and observed this in the past without a doubt. It's like a slow waking up. We come in freshy fresh. The veil is so thin at that point and the remembrance of our spirit life on the other side is like just right there. Have you ever been in the presence of an infant and felt that energy? It's so amazing and magical. The older I get, the more I am, I am in awe of it and I just wanna soak it up every chance I can. That remembrance of our spirit life and the knowingness sticks with us well into our childhood. Well, I should say it varies from person to person. And the truth is, and the reality, that at a certain point, it starts to fade for most of us as we acclimate further into being here. And we forget. We disconnect. We hang up the phone. But don't worry, boo. Happened to me. And there is no judgment here at all. Let me just interject this train of thought and say that this is not about religion or the belief system that overlays how you live your life. That's an individual choice and experience. It's up to you how you translate and apply it. You do you. Just be a good human being at the base. What I'm talking about here is actually the highest vibrational force at work and the essence in the universe, which is love, L-O-V-E, love and getting back to it fully. Cause you know, love is always the way. So again, what is ascension? I've heard it described uh, as coming back into alignment with spirit and or let's say spiritual elements, a reconnecting if you will. That resonated with me. I think of spirit energy like when we trans, transition out of our bodies to the other side, again, a super high frequency energy. And as I mentioned previously, as human beings, we are in a pretty dense 3D form. So ascension is an opening and awareness that ties into the movement of, this, of the energy up and closer to the higher self. I would say the soul, but I actually believe that the soul is a thread of our true essence that runs through every experience that, experience that we have, whether it be here, there, or wherever throughout all of existence. And or but, on the other hand, I also feel that our soul is our collective knowing of all of our lives and experiences, past present and future. So all that to say, we can crack that nut more ways than one, but ultimately it gets us to the same place. 
connecting with source energy and our higher soul selves. The road of ascension can be rocky and it's often triggered by something hardcore happening in life. For me, it was when my brother transitioned young and what felt like super early, almost 10 years ago. The rose-colored glasses were ripped right off. I was stunned. And yet, I decided to be present for an experience that catapulted me down a path that I would have never expected. Holy shit balls! It has been intense, to say the very least. It's not always a death experience for everyone. Sometimes it's a divorce, loss of a job or career, or some other perceived sense of what should be, insecurity, expectations. It, it can be a million different things at the end of the day, but it essentially comes down to being what is sometimes called the dark night of the soul or the hero and shero's journey. Call it what you will. It's going to look a little bit different for everybody. The divine map is always, always leading us in the right direction. And life is on time. But it doesn't always make sense to us and our dense 3D beings in the moment. We need to be using our intuition and be paying attention to the cues that are always available to us. We've got to surrender to our soul compass leading the way. The so-called darkness is where we often and hopefully wake up. When we see the light start to come through the cracks, we start to reconnect with our true inner being and divine source. It's also when we remember when we know and when we understand that there is something so much bigger than us at play. It's when we connect our physical bodies and our experiences to our soul and our spirit. That's when we start to ascend. Whoa, it's a pot in now. As a collective currently, we are in the throes of a growth spurt on the ascension path. At the same time that many of us as individuals are also waking up and going through our own ascension. Holy shit on shit. Things are rocking and rolling and kicking up dust. Not only is ascension about reconnecting with the soul and source energy, but it's also knowing at the deepest levels that we are all one and we are all love. A lot of dirt and shit is getting turned over in the world right now so that we can recognize it, call it out, and clear it out. Can you smell the manure? P fucking you. Whoever smelt it might have dealt it. Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm just saying. But regardless of who did what or how we got, got here, it's time to ascend to a better way of living that cares for the whole with kindness and abundance in a way that has us acting with the knowingness that we are one and knowing that everything has a ripple effect, be it good or bad. I don't know about you, but I want to be a good ripple. When we go through this bumpy process of ascension, we ultimately have to take a long, hard look at ourselves. We sometimes have to let go of what we thought we knew. We have to release our perceived comforts and stability and realize that we actually don't have much under control after all. Ha ha, ha ha ha, jokes on you, jokes on me. Some hard chisel for a Virgo, I'll tell you. The control piece is, is a tough one to swallow and subsequently release, 
but it's designed to be that way for our soul growth. Stay in flow, wash your chakras, and don't be a dick nose. Sometimes it's just the very simple things. The latter will definitely impede your ascension process. Trust me, don't do it. Don't be a dick nose. It all seems so simple and easy once you're on the other side of a, a phase, a spurt, if you will. There's lots of stops and starts, and trust me, it is a never-ending process. I am definitely chasing higher, le higher levels of ascension and connection every minute that I can. Because once you get a taste of alignment and flow, yo, you ain't ever going back. It's like spirit crack. Just stay open and be in your light, but protected. Ask your angels and your guides for extra if you need it. They got you. Don't let your stuff get ate by the dark side because there is a lot of that going around right now. Conspiracy theories and yuck are out there in spades and swallowing people up. Darkness feeds off the light, and when you start to grow and expand your light, the darkness will come for you because there's some vulnerability and openness in the process. The dark doesn't want you to ascend. It's in the best interest of the dark to keep us in chaos, in fear, and divided. But you know what? That is not where we're meant to go. So those bitches are ultimately going down. But for now, we fight just by being in our light. Sometimes I imagine that I have light coming out of the palms of my hands. And if I need to, I just blast all that bad stuff and yuck away with love and light. It's my secret power, my secret superpower. Maybe not so secret anymore. So let's do this thing. We, you, me, need to stay on our path to enlightenment. It's an individual experience, but every single soul thread weaves into the quilt of the whole. How's that for an analogy? I might be sounding a little woo-woo and perhaps new agey at the moment, I'm not trying to be a weirdo, but just trying to explain it to you how I see it from my viewpoint. Of course, with my love glasses on, and I know and understand that things feel challenging at the moment to say the least, but I just encourage you to stay calm, to trust, and to have faith in the highest levels that everything is part of the growth on the path of our ascension. You got this. You are part of the plan and on and in divine time. I have faith in you. So I'm really hoping that this makes some sense and that it was helpful. And of course, I am sending you love. My love for you is ascending.